Hi, this is Phil from W2LIE.net and Monitor Long Island Inc. In this video, I'm going to show you what I'm, uh, what tools I'm using to monitor what's on the new Nassau County Police P25 system. As of now, all the talk groups on that system are encrypted. So what we're doing is we're using a couple pieces of software and our old analog radios to monitor what's going on. Currently, right now, all the uh, all the talk groups are encrypted. But luckily, they still are simulcasting on their old analog UHF channel. So we're able to kind of watch and see what's going on and listen at the same time. And by doing that method, we can kind of see what talk groups are on for each channel. The only thing we're, we're finding out now is there's more talk groups and there's analog channels. So we have to kind of start filling in the blanks. And by doing uh, logging the radio IDs, we're kind of able to find out where else has shown up on the system and uh, using our best uh, best guesses we can kind of figure out what some of the missing talk groups are. So right now what I've got set up in front of you is to the left to right is I have um, our netbook computer which we're running Pro96Com uh, which is what I have been using. Uh, as a secondary method I'm going to show you also how to use Unitrunker so um, it gives you an option as to if you want to try this on your own. To the right we have a Radio Shack Pro 106 scanner that scanner we're going to use right now to interface with Pro96Com uh, and use that to uh, monitor the control channel. On the top right, we have a Radio Shack Pro 2051 analog scanner. I have modified the radio to include the discriminator tap or the baseband audio tap. What that allows us to do is allows us to send the unfiltered audio from the scanner to the sound card of the computer and monitor the control channel activity using that method. So you can see how we're using some new radios with some uh, P25 only software and we're using a piece of equipment that's really outdated uh, you know by today's specs and um, using it with some software that uh, uh, doesn't do just P25 systems. Okay. Below that we have our unit in uh, BCT15X uh, that radio is included just to show that it is an analog only radio. We're going to be using that radio to monitor the analog activity on the simulcast system. Okay, This video is not how to decrypt an encrypted talk group. It's not how to monitor anything that's encrypted. Okay, So if uh, that's what you're expecting to see in this video, you know you can stop it now. Uh, if anybody decides they want to contact me to find out how to monitor the encrypted system, I'm not going to answer your emails. Right now, there's no way to do it. I'm not going to help you do it. And I don't even want to know if you're trying to do it. Okay? So, again, to, to clarify what we're doing here is we are not doing any type of decryption of the encrypted signal. Okay? We are strictly monitoring the control channel, which is in the clear. And we're also monitoring the analog simulcast system. Okay, so what I got up now on the uh, scanner is I'm watching the P25 system. Okay, right now it's in ID search mode. And if we come into it, we turn it on. We're basically just getting the encrypted signal. Okay? If I bring the same thing up on the analog radio. Okay, you can hear that we are listening to the analog system. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the scanner into trunk system analyze mode. Okay, so by doing that is we're on the trunk system now. We're going to hit the T-SYS button. Okay, we're going to click on analyze. All right, so right now I've got the scanner plugged in the USB cable into the, uh, the computer. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to start up Pro96Com by double-clicking on the icon. Okay, we got to go up into our uh, setup. Okay, and we're going to be using a Pro 96, I'm sorry, Pro 106 on COM port 16, and we're going to read the data from the radio. So as you can see now, we are watching the control channel. We can see where each talk group is on the system, and as more voice channels are, uh, are brought in, uh, you'll see the list start to grow. Okay, so again, now the nice thing on the system is, is we see which is a, which are encrypted talk groups, um, and uh, if I had more room on the screen, we'd actually be able to show you more of the radios that are on here. Being that I've spent some time on this system, okay, 
Uh, we're going to jump ahead here, and I'm going to show you what it looks like after you've uh, made some log entries on here. So let's go ahead and we'll close this down, and we'll restart it using the database I already have. So here we go. We have uh, several talk groups on the system at the same time. Okay, anything we got up right now is encrypted. Right, we can see the talk group description. We can see the radio ID. All right, we can see what uh, I've labeled the radio ID as using the best guess. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll start to turn on the analog radio. So as you can see, as uh, frequencies come active on the analog system, we can start seeing them on the uh, on the trunk activity screen over here. So as you can see, RMP420 did answer. I have the radio ID associated to uh, to his uh, car number. This way, when we finally do lose the analog system, at least you can kind of see who's actively using it. Okay, so again. What we're basically we're looking at is we're looking at the activity on the control channel. Okay, we're not decoding anything that's encrypted on the system. Okay, we're still strictly monitoring the analog channel. So again, there are some in, um, some channels, talk groups on here that are no analog equivalents to. So the one you just see uh, lit up now in red, I have no idea what that is. Best guess is maybe it's involved with the BSO or detectives. And I'm basing that on the radio ID I see. Based on other radio IDs that have been on the BSO talk group, it's got, it's got the same prefix. Okay, So this is how we're starting to build what's actually on the system. Unfortunately, I haven't seen those radio IDs on any other talk group yet. Uh, so I haven't been able to get a nail as to who's using them. Once I figure out who's using them, we can kind of get a better idea of who's using that talk group. Additionally, on this system, there's uh, a couple of interrupt channels with um, NYPD. You got the 111, the 103, I believe the 105. Um, there's also an uh, interrupt to Freeport on here. This interrupts to Suffolk County Police, um, and as well as a countywide uh, one, countywide two, and there's also some uh, auxiliary police on here as well. So by using some of the information we're, we're figuring out by radio IDs, um, some of the channel lists I've seen. Uh, also, if you listen over the air, they say go to channel C11, and then you see a new talk group come up. You look back at the old conventional system, go, oh, channel 11 was this, and now you know what another talk group is. So it's kind of listening to the old while watching the new is how we're, uh, we're working on the system. So again, let me put the uh, the mic down so you can kind of see what's going on the system, and uh, I'll park it next to the analog radio. West Open Street Road in Tech Street. Claims in a black Cadillac GPS by New American Auto Parts parking lot. Bike is the complainant's car. The right or left is bike. At the scene is walking up Old Country Road. Male, white, 40 years of age, jeans, black sweater, and was limping. 216? 216, 104. Just 216? ESL. Light is stuck on red. The city of Woods for possible on 1st Street, Mineola. 2007. 301? Detective TSL, vicinity of Winthrop Hospital, light is stuck on red on 1st Street, 2008-301. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use our Pro 2051, and we're going to feed that into Unitrunker and show you how the same thing can be done with... Uh, a uh, different piece of software and uh, an older radio. Okay, so right now we've got the, the screen of tap plugged into the sound card of the receiver. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start up that interface. And again, you can kind of see the same type of idea is showing up here. Is we're getting the same channel grid as to uh, the, the frequencies that are on the system. 
uh, down below we're getting a channel gr uh, grant uh, see who's on the system and all that so let's go ahead since you've basically seen the same type of setup already on Pro96.com I want to just show you the same way it's done here on another piece of software so again let me bring up the volume on the analog system and we should start to see something pop up on the control channel So this was kind of a real brief introduction on how to use uh, two pieces of software to monitor a P25 system. Uh, one method was using Pro96Com with a P25 capable scanner, and the other method was used by using Unitrunker uh, and using a old analog um, Radio Shack Pro 2051. Pro96Com will only work on P25 based systems. Okay. And the reason why I did show you Unitrunker is because it will work on EDAX and also Motorola Apco 16 systems, okay? So right here on Long Island, we could actually use the same piece of software to monitor what's going on in Suffolk County as well. So again, by using kind of Pro96.com on the, on the digital radio and now Unitrunker in Suffolk, maybe we could start finding out if this is uh, an interoperable talk group between the two of them that are being used uh, and get us a better idea as to what's going on in the systems. If you have any questions as to what I've gone through today, um, again, please uh, feel free to reach out and email me via my website, which is w2lie.net. Again, if you are looking for information on how to decode an encrypted talk group on a P25 system, please don't waste your time and please don't waste my time. I do not have any information on how to do an encrypted talk group. I decode one. I have no way of helping you. If you have a method of doing it, I do not want to hear from you, okay? I'm not interested in breaking the law here, okay? Everything we did here was monitoring the analog frequencies on the simulcast. So, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Phil, W2LIE from W2LA.net and Monitor Long Island, Inc., saying 7-3.